good evening. I'm Kenan Gray and welcome to my channel. Tonight is story time. Christmas is coming. And Christmas is a time a lot of us feel lonely, often make all kinds of questionable decisions. Last year on the 22nd um, was the last time I did crystal meth. Ever. It ruined my Christmas, mine and my best friend who came to see me in London. Um, because I entered this um, incredibly intense state of paranoia. I'm not going to get into details because I don't think I'm ready for that. But it got really bad. And I'd been there before that time. But that time was kind of like um, a climax. When I occasionally share it with people, a very common question is... Um, whether it was so hard to, to quit and how did I do it. It was extremely easy. And that was because of the consequences that it came from my addiction. And for a long time, I didn't think addiction was the right term. And I guess that's a great area because, you know, if you're a functioning addict, then uh, you can always excuse yourself and justify it. Then comes the calm down, the anxiety and the paranoia and the tears and the loneliness, the isolation and fear of judgment and disappointment. I was drowning. I'm not a different person. I'm still in fact haunted by a lot of the the echoes from that the lifestyle I led back then. But um I finally have a chance at being happy and I don't know how long it's gonna take. But I'm definitely closer to it than I was when I was doing crystal meth. I don't really have any groundbreaking advice. It's still a journey for me. I still feel quite lost. But I, I believe that you may need to find out what it is you're running away from into drugs. And you may say, oh, because it's fun and, you know, it's just for sex. I don't buy it. I don't think it, it's about sex. I think it's about a lot more than that. If you dare, looking underneath the surface, I'm sure that the real you isn't as bad as you think it is. 